condo fee increases that many owners claim will actually force them to sell. They are facing a 400% fee hike and say state regulators are not protecting them. Consumer investigator Todd Ulrich took their case to the condo board and the state to get answers and shows how it could happen to other property owners too. It's been their beach escape for 16 years, but now Ernest and Susan Lee claim they're being forced out by their condo association. Now, this is nothing but a condo version of a hostile takeover. The Lees say a Canadian family had been buying condos at Chateau-by-the-Sea and now own more than 50% of the units, enough to elect supporters to the board of directors that passed sky-high maintenance fee increases from $400 a month in 2017. It's now $2,000 every month. It's ridiculous. It's highway robbery. That's 24000 in condo fees a year. The lease say they'll be forced to sell. I reached former owner Rich Irwin, who already has. Did you have to sell? Oh, yes. I could not afford the condo fees. And I also blame the state of Florida for allowing it to happen. Condo owners I talked to say the new board found reserves for major repairs were drastically underfunded, and that's why it approved huge increases. But the lease say repairs were covered before. When the money was needed, we'd raise it through special assessments. Several owners complained to Florida's Division of Condominiums, claiming the fee increase was more than the 115% allowed by statute. The state found that limit doesn't cover increases for reserves, but it warned the board its reserve study was not properly done. BP Davis Property Management handles the association's account. I've talked to owners at Chateau by the Sea. They have a lot of questions about a sky-high condo fee increase. No, no we're not going to get into it. Later, Association President Drew Groff told me its engineering study found serious repair and safety issues were neglected, including replacing outside hallways, big fee increases were the only option, and the board resolved the state's concerns. It's their way or the highway. And it has been. Now, we checked property records. 12 out of 42 owners have sold their units in just the past year. That's one in four. The board president declined to discuss that. You just don't see that kind of thing. It, it would just drop you to a knee if you saw that in a letter or whatever. The condo fee increase could force anyone out of their homes, no matter what kind of money you have. Could it happen to anyone? Well, it could. Now, these condo association regulations were written in the 1970s. And experts tell us those documents, those regulations written in the 1990s and beyond would protect you from this kind of takeover by really one single family that's calling the shots there. Doesn't wow. seem right. 400%? Yes, from 400 to $2,000 a month. Who can afford oh, that? Ridiculous. 2, wow. All right, thank you, Todd.